Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Hello. So today is our Disneyland Paris June haul. Yes, but before we do that, I feel like you should be going. Well, Martin said, "Oh, I can't get my hair right for the video," so I said, <laughs> I'm out of you now." So I said, um, "Oh, well, why don't you wear your Mickey Mouse ears?" Um, and he was like, oh, where are they? So then I found them and I said, do you want to wear them? And then you said no. So I was like, well, I'll wear them because I've got them out. <laughs> I still couldn't get my hair right. <laughs> <laughs> it looks fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to do our Disneyland Paris haul from June. We didn't yes. plan on buying that much stuff. And we, we always we say that. We haven't bought loads, but there's enough definitely for a haul. There were two. Yeah, I was just going to say there was a couple of like sort of spontaneous, uh, spontaneous purchases because we felt like we needed to get them, otherwise we might not get them ever. Yeah. And that, I feel you have to do that sometimes. I think with Disney merch, if you like it and you want it and you can afford to get it, you have to get it there and then because it goes so quickly, <laughs> um, especially like the thirtieth merch. Mm just goes like that <laughs> i know that the 30th the white spirit jersey which i initially wanted that went online on shop disney mm -hmm. and as soon oh, as i i remember you saying as sorry as soon as i clicked on it it gone <laughs> it was already sold out it goes so quick it's also because you ummed and ahed about whether you should get it or not and yeah. then by the time you decided it'd gone it was gone <laughs> um but yeah we had a great trip thank you so much for watching all the vlogs and mm. all your comments um, it was a really lovely trip to look back on. It was it was a slightly different trip. We took it a little bit more chill. Yeah. We did some different things like going to the Newport Bay Hotel for date night. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was just a really lovely trip. I think it was been one of my favourites. And then one of my one of our phrases was look up. Look up. So that we spotted things we hadn't seen before. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we are hoping to head back to see Avengers Campus. So many vlogs. We're uh, sort of have come in out. two minds, aren't we, about watching them at the moment. I mean I've seen bits and pieces, but I I, I must admit I haven't sat down to, to watch a one in its entirety just because you know we might go soon. Quite so. soon. Yeah. <laughs> but it is tempting when I see them pop up I'm like, oh I do you want to see them? <laughs> but the general like consensus is that it's amazing. So mm. I'm excited. But uh, should we get on with the haul? Yes. <laughs> so you can start because this is a purchase that you wanted for a very long time. Oh, yes. So yeah, was it first or second trip? Mm. It's like when we go down that walkway that takes us through from, uh, from the arcade through to Frontierland to avoid the crowds, they've always got the posters along the wall. And I asked in one of the vlogs, back in the day, I asked uh, if I could get them from anywhere. And then a lot of you commented and said that, yeah, you could actually purchase them. And uh, I found them this trip. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you get 12 posters and they're of uh, different attractions and things around the park. So I actually got them all out and showed them in one of our vlogs. Um, but the quality of them is, is incredible. Really, really and nice. Really vibrant and they've got uh, like white borders around them. But there's the Star Tours, there's uh, the Railroad, Small World, uh, the Castle, just all sorts. So yeah, I got this from the gallery shop. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, it was 35 euros, but then we got uh, seven euros off because of our infinity pass. So it was 28 euros in total. Which I think is pretty reasonable for how good quality they are. Yeah. Um, the designs are amazing. Um, we have yet to decide where all our prints are going. That is an ongoing. We um... sound like a broken record. <laughs> We've said it so many times. We just get on with it. Uh, um, but with these, it's going to be hard because we either keep them all together and mm. make kind of like a gallery wall of just them. So whether that be going up the stairs or I'm looking over here in our living room or we split them up and we like put different ones in different parts of the house. So that's going to be what we discuss. Or put up four and then you you change them every now and then yeah if you yeah if you didn't have space to put up all 12 you could put up four and then mm. you could put up um maybe uh this is quite a good idea each season 
Ah. Seasonal. <laughs> so you could pick out the more Halloween y, yeah. the more Christmassy, the more summery. You could do, yeah. Um, it's a good idea. Know, we'll have a little think, um, ah, but they're ah. all amazing. Really happy with this. And then they also did uh, Pixar posters as well, but mm-hmm. didn't buy those ones, but mm-hmm. that's cool. So next we're moving on to mugs. Mm-hmm. Again, I'll give this to you actually because this is your mug of the trip. Uh, we got to Hotel Dali, which is a new really hotel nice. for us. It was a bit further out, so it was a bit more of a drive. Only about 15 minutes. We got used say. to it in the end. Yeah, but um, it was an amazing hotel. But the only thing was in the room, they didn't have any mugs, did they? They didn't. Well, it wasn't like a kitchenette. No, it, it was wasn't. Just a no. hotel room. So they had the, the tea and coffee making sort of facilities, but there they weren't had any. had tiny little like espresso cups. That's right, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, that made us <laughs> buy some mugs. <laughs> so we went Roman and uh, we had to get them fairly early on because we wanted to have our. I kept moaning on yeah, about it. Yeah, you wanted, cups always of tea. wanted a cup of tea. And me as well. But I couldn't find, uh, we wanted to get some of the collection that we've already got, mm-hmm. um, like the ones where they're all looking tired and stuff. Which they used to always have, but for some reason we couldn't find many. I think um, we're missing Tinkerbell and Minnie Mouse, but they won't sell them anywhere. No. But I found this mug. Yay! So this is actually based on, is it Fun and Fancy Free? Fun and Fancy Free, which I remembered and I was very proud of myself that I remembered the name of that film. <laughs> It's also the one where there's like a creepy ventriloquist doll in it. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, I can't really remember the film that well, but I definitely remembered the name. Yeah, but I, I don't think it was one I'd watch again. No, we did watch it when <laughs> uh, when we were going all the way through them, which we're still ongoing we, with that. We, we fell off the bandwagon <laughs> with that. We started just watching any films. Um. But yeah, within Fun and Fancy Free, this is probably my favourite bit where he was doing Jack of the Beanstalk. Uh-huh. So yeah, the handle's like the beanstalk, and then you've got Disneyland Paris on the back, and then Mickey's in his outfit on the front. Really cute. Uh, so we got this from World of Disney, and it was 17 euros, but it came out as 13 euros 60. So next was my mug of the trip. We call them like <laughs> my mug, but I mean, when they're in the house, it's just fair game. Like yes. anyone can, can take whatever mug they want. <laughs> but we always kind of say oh, my mug of the trip. Although if anyone chooses the Toy Story from Walt Disney World, they get the side eye. That one over there. They get the side eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is actually the 30th anniversary mug. And I don't remember it being there on our May trip. I don't know whether we just didn't spot it. Um, but when I saw it, it I hadn't seen it before, mm. and I was like, that is such a nice mug. I don't think it was there, because something like that we would have spotted at the time, I think. Yeah. And they, they seem to be bringing out 30th merch mm. as things go on. Uh, so this is the mug, and I love it. I love the handle. It's the 30th <laughs> design, which is Mickey slash 30, yeah. which Martin um, only kind of cottoned onto on the trip. Yeah. <laughs> The, uh, not the last trip, but the trip before, wasn't it? When was I, it? I can't remember. I realised that, yeah, it was the Mickey years. <laughs> um, but it has all the characters on. It has Goofy, it's got Daisy, Chip and Dale, Donald, Mickey and Minnie, and Pluto. So it has all of the main the main cast on there. And they've all got their 30th anniversary outfits <laughs> on. It's got a little bit of like glitter. Oh, there's Tinkerbell as well. Um, but I just think it's so cute. I love the colour and... I think what drew me to it most was A, the handle, and B, because it was 30th, it's something that I'll always remember, kind of like that Toy Story one. Yes. That Toy Story mug always reminds me of opening day of Toy Story Land, (laughs) Um, and this one will always remind me of this year, and um, we've been lucky enough to visit Disneyland Paris a lot this year, so very special, and yeah, very happy with that. I got this from the main shop on Main Street. I can never remember the name of this one. It's the one where you go in, it's on your right. right. Yeah, Yeah, but I think they were selling it in a few places. Anywhere where there was 30th merch, Mm. it was there. I think they had it in World of Disney too. Um, And it was, it was 15 euros, and then we had three euros off with the Infinity Pass. So then it was 12 euros. So actually, the the fun and fancy free mug was more expensive. More expensive, which is surprising because... Mm. Um, I personally, sorry, prefer, <laughs> I prefer this, and also it's it's limited edition. Um, but yeah, don't so. you dismind. <laughs> uh, the next thing, uh, 
they were selling quite a few uh, sort of 30th t-shirts and ones that harked back to Euro Disney. Mm-hmm. I mean, they of course had the jumper, the spirit jersey. Which I was, I was so close to getting that. Maybe in the future if it's Maybe, still there. Maybe. I, I feel like it might be a limited, limited release. But um, I saw this t-shirt and I loved it. Uh, blue is my favourite colour, so I was drawn to it immediately. <laughs> and then you've got... Uh, 1992 Euro Disney and Mickey Mouse is on there and he's painting and I just I love this t-shirt so I I had to get it Uh, I think I got it on the last day of our trip I think Mm -hmm. just before we left so for this one I'm normally very good at keeping the receipts but because we bought it as the last thing I don't know where the receipt went (laughs) but I've still got the label on it so it's 26 euros but then something tells me that in the vlogs I said that there was quite a significant discount that brought it to around 21 or 20 euros. Mm-hmm. Well, that would be the infinity. Yeah, because then, uh, then I was I said in the vlog that, you know, under 20 pounds is yeah. decent for a t-shirt. So. Especially Disney, because they are good quality. They're mm-hmm. really good quality t-shirts. But yeah, I'm excited to wear this. It's been sat in the bag for ages. I know, all of this <laughs> stuff. We're a bit late in filming this. I'm excited to use it all. <laughs> so next is probably one of the most well actually we had two spontaneous purchases um but this is one of them so whilst we were there we bumped into the disney grown-ups and dawn let us know that some 30th merch had been released that morning Mm -hmm. and we had no idea um we i i don't know how people like find out these things (laughs) um but yeah, we, we didn't know, um, so she let us know, and then we headed over to that, that Main Street shop, and it was all there, and it was yeah. the Sparkling Colours collection. They had a lounge fly, Disney ears, and then they had the Spirit jersey, which mm-hmm. I ended up getting, and I'm so happy with it. <laughs> so this is the Sparkle Collection Spirit jersey. I love the colours. This is the back, so it says Disneyland Paris. And it was between this and the vintage Euro Disney collection spirit jersey. But I think I I just was drawn to this <laughs> because it was the 30th. Um, again, I just, I love that it reminds me of a specific time yeah. um, and specific trips. And I didn't know how long it was going to be in stock as well. Yeah. I mean, they did have a lot of them. So. They did. Uh, I don't know how they're getting on with them at the moment. So I believe this might be the third, uh, 30th spirit jersey. I Is think there's really? a blue one um, that has pending, which yes. was out before. Uh-huh. And then you've got the white one with yeah. all the rides. All the rides, that. that was cool. And then I think, I believe this is the third, like <laughs> 30th spirit jersey. So, I mean, I think there's going to be some more as well <laughs> by the end of the year. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with this. And so this was 65 euros, and then we had our infinity discount of 13 euros, so that brought it to 52 euros. And I mean, you just can't go wrong with a spirit jersey. I get so much wear out of this. I haven't recently just because it's been so hot, um, but I think once it starts getting a bit cooler and heading into autumn, then I'll be wearing this with pride. And then if we go back to Disneyland Paris this year as well, I'll be able to wear it. They're so comfy. They are. (laughs) And then that leads us on to another spontaneous uh, purchase. Yeah, so I was was waiting somewhere for you Mm -hmm. and I just was on my phone and... I was on Instagram, and I think it's ED92 is the account that, uh, that that I have on Instagram that pops up, and they literally just go around the park, and they take photos, and they announce things, and I just saw on there that they had, they announced it the same day as it's that came out, so they showed that, but then they also showed a different spirit jersey, and it was to do with Marvel, and... We searched high and low in all of the shops in the parks and then we even checked in Disney Village, but it wasn't there. So I thought it must only be at Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel. We were trying to work it out. (laughs) I don't think they said where it was from. They just posted a photo. So we were trying to work out like what shop it was from how it looked. Yeah. So we headed over there and there wasn't that many left when we got there. Mm -hmm. Um, And, but it was, it was sat there. It was waiting for me in the right size. So here it is, a Marvel spirit jersey. Apparently there's also now a Avengers Campus spirit jersey. Yes. 
But uh, yeah, so here we got. Uh, now this is my chance to redeem myself because I got one of these logos wrong. Oh, did you? <laughs> the of the people, yeah. So we've got Iron Man, we got Spider Man, we got Captain America. So that one, which I claimed was uh, Captain Marvel, which one is not? It is Guardians of the Galaxy. This. Yeah. Ah. Uh, then you got Black Widow, and then you've got Thor, <laughs> and then I love that on the back. It says, Marvel. <laughs> and I just love Marvel so much. And I, I, what I, a year to get that as well, with all the new releases coming out. <laughs> I love Marvel even more as well, because of like the time we spent watching them yeah. over lockdown together. So like you had never seen them. And you're a bit sceptical to give them all a go. But then as soon as you started watching them, you enjoyed the story I and really the characters. Them now. And, and yeah, so it's something that we really love together. And um, some when I put out a, a video a Instagram story asking for video ideas, someone suggested our reaction to all of the Marvel news. Oh yeah, which I think might be a really good video for us to film because I haven't. I saw that they released loads of stuff, but I haven't really looked into it. And I don't think you have either. Not too much. No. Um, so yeah, let us know in the comments if that would be of interest. Uh, but we could go through because I think they announced like ten things. It, it was loads. Oh, so many movies and TV. Um, so we. Can go through and say our initial thoughts on what's to come because it's going to be exciting. I think they, <laughs> it's like for a good few years they've announced. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I, I can wear this if we go in the winter. Yeah. And we go to Avengers, Avengers Campus. campus. <laughs> uh, so the spirit jersey, it was 60 euros, but I got a discount of 12 euros, so it came out as 48 euros. The Infinity Pass, if you are like, should I get it, should I not? The Infinity Pass, because it has a higher discount than the Magic Plus, it does make a big difference when you buy items which are maybe a bit pricier, such as like spirit jerseys and things like that, or the lounge flies. Um, it kind of, the discount, you really notice it. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that is something to consider if you like buying a lot of merch when you're there. <laughs> <laughs> it might be worth getting the Infinity instead. And then, last but not least, we have a new lanyard. So this is Martin's lanyard. There's been a lot that's been passed to me. I know. <laughs> I feel like you you kind of um, lucked out that trip. What was I doing? <laughs> um, so I decided that I wanted to get a new lanyard because uh, the Toy Story one, that I've still got it, but it's just getting a bit faded. Mm -hmm. um, so I looked everywhere <laughs> for one and it took many, many days <laughs> In order to get one. Do you know what it reminded me of? Me when I was buying my magic band in yeah. Walt Disney World. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> say. Two weeks. <laughs> um, but yeah, I went for this one, which is Pirates of the Caribbean, because Pirates of the Caribbean is one of my all-time favourite rides and one of my all-time favourite movies. Um, and it's also got Chip and Dale on it, which is really fun. So they're dressed as pirates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, as you can see, we have added all of our different badges. Yeah. I like them. I like the badges look good on on it. I think because it's slightly darker colours, the mm -hmm. badges like pop. I got it from the studio store, so Walt Disney Studios. Ten euros. I got a discount of two euros, so it was eight euros. So that is everything. That is our Disneyland Paris haul for June, and yeah, we did really well. Um, a lot of spontaneous buys, which I like yeah. uh, because we weren't <laughs> expecting to get them. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching, and we will see you soon for our next video. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll be sure to do a trip announcement as soon as we know when we're heading back to see Avengers Campus. So yes. Keep your eyes and ears peeled. But in the meantime, we're going to do day in the life vlogs, um, lots of like Disney related videos. We've got house updates and garden updates. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's lots happening. So I hope yeah. you enjoy sticking around. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe for a lot more videos and we'll see you soon. If you're going to Avengers Campus 2, have an amazing time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Toodle Pipsky.